Gut. Numbers here for Arl. Here's Gavin, big man. Big moments. Big try for the inside center. Yeah, obviously, like any any experience, you get to to play for your country and um, rep represent that twenties team is obviously it's a privilege and. Um, I've, I've loved my time with the 20s so far. Um, obviously, really disappointing not to uh, win out the championship. Um, probably one we, we left behind us a bit, but loads of learnings coming into the World Cup. Yeah, obviously, myself, Finn, and Sean were the three the three Connacht uh, representatives in the squad. Um, two great lads. You obviously saw loads of Finn uh, throughout the Six Nations. Uh, he's rapid. He's unbelievable player. The amount he's come on this year. It's been huge, and then Shawnee as well. Um, probably didn't get as much game time, but he's he's really one for the future. He's he's come in this summer straight out of school, and he's been superb around Connacht and even in camps. He's he's really pushing on, so he's he's definitely one to watch as well. Yeah, in terms of just leadership, I think I knew I was going to have to kind of step up and perform and. There's a bit more pressure in your second year to, to go out and kind of be one of the leaders on the pitch, but just the way I took it was I just tried tried to work as hard as I could, be as accurate as I could, and um, just try inspire the lads around me from there. Yeah, the last 12 months have gone, um, come and gone fairly quickly. Um, you know, first when I got in, I was lucky enough to get that academy contract, and then straight around the corner was the 26 Nations, followed by the World Cup, and you know, you're straight back into it again. So, haven't had a huge amount of time to reflect on it, but you know, it's it's been hugely enjoyable, and um, I I've come on so much from the level of coaching and the professionalism around me. So, yeah, I've really enjoyed the last twelve months. Yeah, no, time in South Africa was really enjoyable. Um, obviously, had a great group of lads down there who were very tight. Um, so, we kind of. There was a there was a good few down days, but most of them were training days. So you were you were mainly recovering down there. To be fair, so you'd be hanging around the team room, playing pool, um, or heading. There was a shopping centre right beside us, and we we'd grab food there most days. But um, all in all, it was hugely enjoyable. Yeah, obviously, there's been loads of people that have kind of mentored me and coached me through the years, and that's really helped my progression. Uh, started rugby in Weegans, Um would have been my dad and one of my friends dad uh, Mickey who would have coached us all through the years he stuck around our group until about under 18s and then um, in the school in my school class they acknowledge Morgan who's um, now a, our academy coach here in Connacht he he would have come in and done a bit of work uh, Gary Lally and then Sinead Anthony who's head of our um, school team so they all they all would have really helped so my club Galwegians, um to be fair, they've they've given me everything I've I've ever needed um, in terms of developing my rugby. We've had some unbelievable coaches throughout the years. Um, uh, we we actually our, our team in particular we were quite successful. Um, got to a few cup finals. Uh, had a good few lads playing in provincial teams. So. Um, in, ter in terms of coaching, we were we were very blessed. Our age group, um, and yeah, loads of lads have pushed onto the senior team from there. Um, I've played a few few games for Galwegians in the AL, and I've really enjoyed it. Like I've always dreamed of kind of putting on the sky blue jersey since I was a young lad. So it was a great thing to do and to give back to the club. Uh, yeah, my dad was club captain there for a few years. Um, two brothers play so. We were very much so Norwegian's family. Um, to be fair, I wouldn't have an earliest rugby memory, but just kind of from youth rugby, what I remember was just the crack I had going to various blitzes around kind of Connacht. Um, I obviously had loads of schoolmates that played for Galwegians with me, so there was a there was a good band of us there, and yeah, we we had a really enjoyable kind of youth system and. Underage, uh, we probably weren't the easiest group of lads to coach, but um, no, it was re really good crack. Off the field, play a good bit of golf. I was playing a good bit of golf last week. I'm, I'm not great anymore. I used to be quite good, but I've kind of lost the touch a bit. Um, Do any other lads on the academy team good at golf? Or? Uh, yeah, Schmalen reckons he's very good, but 
he wouldn't be he wouldn't be top drawer. <laughs> um, what else? I used to be very into kind of horse riding when I was younger. My granny my granny owns horses, so myself and my dad used to go out uh, out to Crowell every Saturday after rugby training, and we go take the ponies out and hack around. So that was another thing I've kind of had to give that up since. Um, yeah, those would be two big ones. Yeah, so I'm studying um, commerce in Galway. Uh, it's my second year doing it. Um, so I kind of, last year was probably a bit worse. I kind of maybe lost the run of myself at the rugby and kind of put the college aside a small bit. But um, definitely this year there's a, there's a lot more kind of a focus on, on my college work and um, post training and stuff. I'm trying to get off to the college and get some work done most days. So uh, just trying to keep on, keep on top of both is, is quite important.